And now men want to ask me why I'm not into the playoffs this weekend. I'm sorry. I'm so busy covering the incredible hardcore news that I haven't even gotten into the ninth planet that was discovered that they announced last week. And, of course, they discovered it a long time ago. They just got around to telling us. And there's a reason they didn't get around to telling us about it. I am someone who always got sick and tired of hearing about Planet X. Because as long as I've been on the air, people are saying, it's coming next year, it's coming in three years, it's going to happen. The ancients said it comes through every 20,000 years in a different type of orbit that doesn't go in circles around the sun, but goes way out past the Kuiper belt and comes in basically in a, at an elliptical. And then I started reading deeper into this planet, and it, there it was, a 20,000-year deformed orbit going out into deep space, 10 times the size of the Earth. It is Planet X, folks. Isn't that just perfect that this would just show up while all this circus is going on? Now, now I want to be clear about this. It fits the bill of Planet X. They're probably... 50, 60, 100, 1,000, I don't know, Planet X's. They've already chronicled hundreds and hundreds of planetoids bigger than Pluto in the Kuiper Belt out past the former ninth planet, named after the god of the underworld, a fitting name, the Roman god of hell. So they said, no more ninth planet, because we got to say we have hundreds of planets if there's things bigger than it. Well, Pluto's little. This sucker is gigantor. Compared to Pluto. They're in the news today, meteorologists talking about how the moon being full during the blizzard is going to make it worse, and it, and, it, and it does. It affects space winds, winds of space, the sun, and a lot more. Why the full moon could make this weekend's blizzard more destructive, who knows what this planet is going to do coming closer in to the solar system. Because here's the deal, it's been way out there for however long, and now they've tracked its course and think it's every 20,000 years, right out of what the ancient Babylonians and the Mayans and all these other cultures said this big planet comes through and that there's earthquakes and volcanoes and all hell breaks loose, and it comes through every 20,000 years, and then now here it comes. Now, I don't know if this is the one, because there's so many of them out there. Who knows what's out there? We're too busy looking at Hillary Clinton and going, I'm voting for her because she's a woman. Who cares? What I'm getting at is we don't have time for racism and sexism and all this fighting and all this garbage and all this divide and conquer when we have genetic engineering going on, splicing and mutating every species on the planet like something out of H.G. Wells, the island of Dr. Maru, squared planet x they discovered it 10 times bigger than earth the size of neptune a gas giant with a 20,000 year orbit exactly what a bunch of the ancients said they said it when it comes back through it causes massive catastrophes volcanoes you name it by the way it gave me a whole stack of articles about record volcanoes i laid it somewhere i think in there by the coffee pot uh but uh, i'm gonna have to actually get to that Halfway into the hour with Michael Schneider from the Economic Collapse blog and get his take on it. And, and, and here's the deal, folks. I, I don't want to say I'm eating my hat on this, but I've been very, very critical of the perennial books that have been coming out since the mid-90s about Planet X is coming. It's a gas giant, 20,000-year elliptical orbit. You know, the uh, Babylonians talked about it, the Zoroasters, the Mayans. I never said that I didn't think 
that there aren't a whole bunch of planets out there. They've proven there's hundreds of them that are out in the Kuiper Belt past Pluto. That's why they delisted it, as I said earlier. What I was getting at is constantly saying it's coming next year and constantly saying it's the end of the world and the movie 2012, and then I get blamed for it. They would, I mean, there's so many news articles going, Alex Jones is the one so we didn't go to the moon and that aliens run everything and that the Himalayas are going to be, you know, at sea level. Uh, when, uh, hey, Alex, 2012 didn't kill everybody. And so it just gets old. But it does show how the ancients were certainly right about big planets that come through, and there are big disasters, and there are big asteroids that hit the Earth, and there are big Earth changes, and the elite shouldn't be the focus of everything. They're all busy. I saw another headline last week going, Alex Jones says the elite want off-world colonies to escape Earth. I was quoting top elitist on their way to Davos saying that was going to be up for discussion. It was mainstream news. So even when there's mainstream news that, you know, Thiel and all these other folks and, and, and you know, the uh, Tesla owner and all the rest of it are saying we need a Mars colony for the elite, I cover what they say, and then they go, Alex is crazy and made this up. So, see, that's how they operate. They think you're stupid. But I tell you, uncanny that the ancients said 20,000 years, bigger than the Earth, and all the rest of it, and here it is. Um, the question is, we're trying to look at its orbit. I mean, is it even scheduled? I guess it's coming in closer. That's what they're saying. That's how they're able to, to see it now. It's coming in from this orbit. What is it? They're saying many, many, many times further out from Pluto. You're one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.